Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Judith Patterson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Texas, and today we're going to create a card from the catalog using the Best Delivery stamp set. This stamp set is so cute and fun and perfect for moving. Do you know how long it took me to figure that out? I don't even want to admit it because it was too long. So, um... Yeah, I was trying to figure out, I was like, what would you use a moving truck for? <sighs> so silly. So, the card that I'm making can be found on page, let me switch it to the desktop, there we go, on page 53 of the mini catalog. This is the January to June 2022 mini catalog. Um, and like I said, it's found on page 53. It's this card right here. I'm a sucker for a shaker card, and I haven't done one on my channel for a while, so I thought I would go ahead and do one today. Um, and I had an aha moment when I saw this. I was like, wow, well, what would you do with that card? Would you send it to someone who is getting married? Because, you know, the hearts. And I thought that would... When I do wedding cards, I like to do flowers, I like to do hearts, which this does have hearts, but the truck was throwing me. So you could definitely do it for a wedding card, but I am making one for my daughter. Shh, don't tell. Um, but she's moving into a dorm in August, and so I'm using her school colors, um, which are purple and white. It'll just be perfect for her moving out because I will be sending lots of love with her as she moves out of the house for the first time. Okay, so let's flip the camera and get started stamping. So instead of using three colors, I will just be using Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather, but I do also have my blends, a couple of extra blends here for coloring in that truck. Just getting some grid paper here. I like using the smaller grid paper for my stamparatus when um, I'm recording videos. So I'm going to start with this piece of basic white cardstock. It measures four and a quarter inches by three inches, and I have my truck mounted on this E block. So I'm just going to stamp it with Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. there and then tap it a little bit I hope that's pretty straight looks good okay so now I'm gonna get this heart stamp that um, goes along the back there can you see it that way so it ha you can just stamp it right along the back um, and I'm actually gonna even overlap it just a smidge with the black ink just so it's lined up really nicely right there I love these clear stamps so I can see through to exactly what I'm doing. And I can already tell you, I got that one off just a little bit. But I think it's going to be alright. Yep, see it's just not quite as close to the edge as I had hoped, but that's okay. Okay, now that I have this stamped, I'm going to cut off an eighth of an inch. Not even an eighth. I'm going to cut off a sixteenth of an inch just so I have a little bit of wiggle room on my card front. Isn't that cute? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and color it and then I'm going to cut it out. So I've got my light pool party that I'm going to color this um, window in with. I'm going to use my basic gray, and this is totally optional, but I'm going to go all the way over my tires with the basic gray just to fill in the center. And I feel like it just finishes off the tires a little bit better. They don't seem quite so splotchy. Okay, and then I'm going to do this part here. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to add some like, ground shadow under the tires. Okay, and then the truck itself, I'm going to paint just the door. This is the dark Highland Heather. Just kidding. I'm going to also color this part here, just going around the, the door in the cab. Okay, now I'm going to use my paper snips to cut out the center of this truck. So sometimes when I make cards way ahead like this, I think I'm all prepared. And I'm so proud of myself, but then when the time comes to send them, I totally forget that I made them already. So that's a little frustrating. I think I need to find a better system um, for organizing cards that I make ahead of time for a specific person at a specific time. Like, wouldn't it be great to have all the birthday cards for the year made ahead of the time, ahead of time, and then organized in a way that you could just grab them and mail them each month. That's my goal. Maybe one day. Right now I'm so scatterbrained I'm just happy whenever I get them in the mail at all. Okay. So now I'm going to take this piece of basic white and it's going to fit right behind here. This piece is cut three inches by two and a quarter inches. And I'm going to use the Holland Heather ink pad. And I have my little single heart. Oops. So a tip when stamping with um, these photopolymer stamps, and they're brand new, I like to go ahead and clean them before I start stamping with them because usually they come out of the package really really sticky and sometimes they'll stick to your cardstock just because they're that sticky so which is good but um, maybe you don't want it actually sticking to the cardstock so just go ahead and use your simple chamois and give it a scrub down and then you're good to go or at least that's been my experience Okay, so now I'm going to take that black memento again, and I'm going to get this set stamp that says sending lots of love today and each day after. And it's just going on a little B block, a little B block that needs to be cleaned. So again, I don't recommend rubbing your stamps on your ink pads unless you're using the memento ink. It has a different um, surface, but our, our normal pads I would not do that with. Okay, so I'm just going to center this up and stamp it down. Through with that. Through with this one. I'm going to need this single stamp again. So in the card from the catalog, they used Bermuda Bay on the cab, and then they used Bermuda Bay to stamp their sentiment. I forgot to clean that one first. Did you see how it stuck just a little bit? It wasn't anything crazy. Just a little bit of sticking. Okay, so now, actually I'm going to wait just a minute before I get to that part. So I'm going to take my tear and tape. You could also use stamp and seal. I'm going to get my little mat here. I'm going to use tear and tape to go around the edge of this opening. OK, 
Okay, so you want to make sure you go all the way around because you want this to be nice and sealed up. So, um, the next thing you're going to need is a little piece of a window sheet. I'm actually just using a scrap I had left over from another project. So I have not measured it, but I will. Um, I think it would be okay to have a piece that's a little bit bigger than the piece I have. Like I said, it's just a scrap that I had, and I think it'll work. So I'm going with it. It is two and three quarters by two. And yeah, it covers that nicely. Um, but you could definitely go three inches, no problem. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is grab my Sparkle and Shine sequins. I'm just gonna drop some of those here in the center over my sentiment. And I'm gonna get my foam adhesive strips. Now, the adhesive on these are a little um, thicker. They'll stand up a little taller than your Stampin' Dimensionals. So I wouldn't recommend using both in this, uh, for the same piece of cardstock on a project. You can definitely use both on a project. I just wouldn't um, do them both for the same thing, if that makes sense. So like I wouldn't put dimensionals on the corners of these. I'm going to continue to use this foam adhesive strip. And look at that. Perfect. So one piece went all the way around my opening here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the backing off of these. I'm going to line this up right over that, trying to make sure it's pretty even. And then I have a two inch strip. This is two inches by one, two, three four and a quarter inches and I'm going to use that Highland Heather ink again I'm just going to stamp some hearts around this make sure when you're stamping your hearts you stamp the whole thing I keep forgetting to um, make sure I've got it pressed down on both sides so I always say don't roll your stamp, but in this case, you might want to roll it a little bit. That one's going to be mostly covered. In fact, all this stuff in the middle is going to be covered. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So you really mainly need towards the bottom and at the top. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have that stamp. Oh yeah, that's good. Alright, so I'm going to grab a ruler, or you can use your um, paper trimmer for this. But I'm going to go across, and at the one inch mark, half inch up, I'm just going to make a little pencil mark. Very small. Can you see that? It's very tiny. And then starting at each corner, I'm going to cut a straight cut right up to that pencil mark to make my banner. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Then I'm going to add just a strip. I think I'm just going to cut off this end. I'm going to put it here just so that this stays level. And I'm going to add a bit of liquid glue to the back of this piece. 
that I'm just going to place this right across here. Remember, I cut off that just a sixteenth of an inch just to make it a little bit narrower than my card front. And there we go. There's a fun little shaker card. I didn't put a lot of shaker bits in there, did I? I didn't want to cover up the words. Okay, so there's a good shaker card. If you want to, for in the inside, you can grab those hearts again. Grab a four by five and a quarter piece of basic white cardstock, and you can stamp the hearts coming off the edge of your page. And just glue this to the inside. And you are good to go with a complete card. Isn't that fun? So before I go, I want to show you another card I made with the same basic layout. I just turned it sideways and I used the birthday balloons and the birthday wishes instead. Um, and I used kind of a weird <laughs> um, color coordination on this one. I chose Flirty Flamingo. Poppy Parade, and this is Blackberry Bliss. So I just wanted to try it out and see um, how it looked. And I have to say I like it better in person than I'm liking it on the camera right now. It's close, but it's just a little different on screen. So tell me what you think of these. And I hope that this made shaker cards easy to understand. And um, I hope you have as much fun making them as I do. So have a happy, happy week, and um, go make lots of cards. Happy stamping. <laughs>